Hi guys, it's Anasty. It's been a long time. Um, a lot has happened in the past year or so, and I kind of just wanted to make a video to update everything, and also for my own self-progress and growth. I think I've changed a lot within the last time, within the time that I haven't posted, and the last time I posted was a really long time ago, so I don't know if it was like the full moon or something, but ever since I woke up, like two days ago, I felt very much more proactive and productive and um, I kind of got into some acrylic painting on clothes and stuff within the last year and then I just stopped because it was really exhausting and but I just picked it back up yesterday again and it is a really like nice breather but at the same time I do want to make money out of it, you know, because I don't want my time and efforts to go to waste. Of course, it's great to invest your time into hobbies and just like build yourself like that. But I want to make money off of my good, fun hobbies because I think they're worth it and I think I'm worth it. And I shouldn't be embarrassed to ask for compensation towards my worth. And again, I'm not like, I'm not like, oh man, like everything's about money. No, I still want good relationships. I still want to build real bonds with people. Ultimately, if I build enough money, it doesn't matter what direction I'm looking here. Whatever I do, ultimately, in the long run, I'm thinking, how am I going to use that money that I make out of my own self? How do I use that money and invest it into becoming an actress, which is ultimately the long-term goal of what I want. Ooh. Ooh. Don't look at my armpits. Oh! Dead enough, I guess. Um, I don't want to jinx myself by saying Oh, well, I'm going to do this, this, and this. I'm not going to say things until after I'm done doing it because I don't want to set high hopes for myself and then feel badly about myself like, oh, well, you said this and then guess what? You didn't follow through. I know myself too well where I get bored of things easily and I can't, like, I feel really bad because over the past year, I'm, I accepted a lot of requests to paint sweaters and this is also kind of like a a public apology a, apology to those people that um requested a sweater from me and then they just never heard back from me that well i i know that sounds bad but it's even worse when you are the one that i reach out to and i'm like hey i'm working on your sweater and then it's been like months and you don't hear anything else and I felt really bad about that so that's why I stopped right after that sweater and I was like dude I don't know why I am leading these people on and even the people that already requested something I'm leading them on I still haven't reached out to them so this is a public PDA public service wait public service announcement PSA it's a public service announcement to say I'm sorry I just get really bored of painting and especially if I don't see um, if I don't see like the results that I'm looking for it doesn't motivate me to do it faster and I'm not saying results that I'm looking for in my own work when I do the work I make sure that I do the work 100% to the best of my ability I don't know how to ask for compensation when I'm asking people what they want and like it's just a really awkward situation. So what I'm going to do is because it'll take the pressure off of me, I'm going to start painting when I want to paint. I don't want to feel like it's a chore to do work that I genuinely enjoy. And by doing so, my creative juices kind of run out. I'm going to start creating pieces and posting them and selling them as they come rather than taking requests because that's just too much. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lead everybody on. Um, I hope that you will continue to support me in my future endeavors. And I know that it was kind of a disappointment. To be honest, I just, it's not like my passion for acting. Painting is not my passion for acting. 
and I'm really proud to say that I do have a skill to paint pretty decently, but it's not my passion the way that acting is. I want to be able to express myself in different outlets, such as painting, such as acting, but I want to be making the most and the best out of the times that I have. I don't know, I feel like I might have said a lot of things and then trailed off because I had a good point in somewhat of the same direction, but also in the, a different direction. And then I don't know if I ever completed my sentences, but you know what? I'm not gonna go back to it because I don't know what I said and what I didn't say already. So let's just continue getting ready. I am really starting to make decisions to like make my future good. I don't want to be in a place in my life where I want to do things, but I can't do it because I don't have enough money. I don't want it to be like that. I want to be able to spoil my family, my friends. I want to go anywhere in the world that I want to go. I'm manifesting it. I'm going to have a future. I am going to have a good future. And I am not going to worry about what people have to say because if you get too hung up about gossip, it'll really bring you down. And that's a, a big lesson that I learned this past year. Um, I don't want that. I don't, at this point, I'm at a point where I'm like, it doesn't matter what they say because what they say is just what they say. Like, yeah, it'll make you feel uncomfortable, but are you gonna make yourself feel uncomfortable? No. You know that you're not there to take advantage of people. You're, you're just here for the moment and you're gonna make the most out of that moment. And guess what? If they don't appreciate you, what are you gonna do? You're going to make the most out of your time that you have to benefit yourself. Not selfishly, but like to grow yourself. You know what I mean? I like my lashes, but they don't show up on camera very well. That makes me sad. I'm at a point where I'm like, screw it. If, if they don't like me, well, that's too bad because I like me. I chose who I wanted to be all the way up to this point. And I am sure in that fact, for sure, because like I've had to take a different path from what I've seen other people take intentionally because I was like, yeah, that's not who I wanna be. That's not what I wanna be like. So if I chose to be like that, I should be proud of who I am. I gotta stop being like, oh, well, um, I do, I am still concerned about how other people view me. No, at this point, I don't care. I really don't care. People are gonna like it, people are not, but I'm just gonna be the best person that I can be, still be a genuinely kind person, but I'm still gonna be me, you know? It's not worth it to try to please everybody takes too much energy, it's annoying, you'll never find yourself, it'll, or not you'll never, if you change in the future you might find yourself, but it'll take a lot longer to find yourself. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're going that way? Oh, oh. I don't know, the way that I was moving my head reminded me of like people getting blocked in basketball. I think I started my YouTube channel when I was too young. I obviously didn't know my full self well enough. And I just unhooked my blow dryer with my foot. Oh. Wait, rewind that, take that back. Some people have foot fetishes, so we can't be showing that for free. And to the guys that say women aren't funny, just so you guys know, their whole existence isn't trying to be funny, okay? If I have weird accents and stuff like that, I don't know, maybe some people will find it funny, but I don't do it to be funny. Am I laughing? No. I never said I was funny. I never... Okay, maybe in my last videos I tried too hard to be funny, and that was not funny. They're cringe. I know that, but some rude ass man was like, yeah, and who said woman? are funny. Why don't you shut up, Bob? Maybe it sounds like you're not funny and you're just trying to project your feelings onto the women. I don't know what I did in the past few years 
to make myself respect myself more, but I have a lot more respect for myself than before. And trust me, everybody needs to have respect for themselves because if you don't, nobody else will. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You need to know not everybody's going to agree with you. And guess what? Some people are going to agree with you, but because it's not a popular opinion, they're not going to say it out loud. Well, this is the final look. Just wanted to let you guys know how I was doing. Um, but I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And I hope that we can all work on being ourselves as best as we can be. Don't care about it, what anybody else says. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.